Hi there. Welcome to this first video of my channel. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch this video. This video is especially made for beginners who are facing difficulties in journalizing a transaction. Journal being the primary part of accounts without having a clear understanding about it, it is difficult to proceed further. In this session, we are going to learn about journalizing a transaction in a more simplified manner. Then we are going to apply the steps of passing the journal entries to these 10 transactions. Let us get into the subject. We journalize the transaction based on double entry system of accounting. Double entry system of accounting. Here every transaction will affect at least two account heads. First let us look at the format of a journal entry. Format of a journal entry Date Particulars Debit and Credit So for a transaction we will enter the journal entry as follows We will fill in the date and account head to be debited to another account head which is to be credited and the respective amounts. This part forms the major part of our discussion. It contains four segments 1, 2, 3 and 4. The third and fourth segment are amount columns which is nothing but the transaction amount. The first and second segment that is the account heads is to be explained. The subject matter of discussion is number one identifying the two account heads involved identifying the two account heads involved and number two which one of the two account head need to be debited and credited. If these two issues are answered, a journal entry can be successfully passed. To address the first issue that is identifying the two account heads involved, we need to know the classification of account heads. So let us look into the classification of account heads. Account heads are broadly classified into five. Number one, asset. Number two, liability. Number three, owner's capital. Number four, income. And number five, expense. The asset, liability and owner's capital form part of balance sheet and the income and expense form part of p &L. Let us understand the process of journalizing with the help of the first transaction. Mr. Sam brought in a capital of rupees 10 lakh. Now let us try to find out the account heads involved in this transaction. From this transaction it is clear that cash that is an asset is increasing and owner's capital also increases. So the two account heads which are affected by this transaction is cash and owner's capital these are the two account heads involved therefore the next question is which of these two account heads needs to be debited and credited to answer this let me give you a simple table let me list all the account heads asset liability owners capital income and expense the treatment to be given when there is an increase and the treatment to be given when there is a decrease whenever an asset increases it should be debited because asset by itself has debit balance whenever it reduces it needs to be credited for liability is just the opposite so whenever it increases credited 
and whenever it decreases debit it owner's capital is also a kind of a liability so whenever it increases you credit it and whenever it decreases you debit it income whenever it increases it increases the net profit which in turn increases the owner's capital so the same treatment as that of owner's capital is to be given to income also so whenever there is an increase credit it and whenever there is a decrease debit it for expense it is the opposite treatment that of income so whenever there is an increase debit it and whenever there is a decrease you credit it this simple table has to be kept in mind to address the second issue let us get back to our transaction we found that it leads to an increase in asset and increase in owner's capital now let us fit it into the table above since asset increases it needs to be debited and owner's capital increases so it needs to be credited therefore the second issue is also addressed assets need to be debited and owner's capital need to be credited therefore the journal entry is as follows on 1st april 2020 cash account debit since it is an asset and it is increasing we are debiting it the amount 10 lakh to sams capital account it is an owner's capital account and it is increasing so we are crediting it and the respective amount 10 lakh i hope you have understood this first transaction let me now pass journal entries for the remaining nine transactions we are going to follow the same two steps for all this remaining transactions the second transaction is on the same day he paid in deposit of rupees 5 lakh for office building let us first identify the two account heads involved they are one there is an increase in building deposit that is an asset and there is a decrease in cash because we are paying through cash so there is decrease in cash which is another asset so there is increase in one asset and there is decrease in another so whenever an asset increases to answer the second question we should fit it in the above table there is an increase in an asset which needs to be debited and there is a decrease in asset which needs to be credited so the journal entry is on 1st april 2020 the asset which is increasing that is a building deposit is to be debited building deposit account debit to cash which is another asset it is reducing so it needs to be credited cash account and the amount 5 lakh 5 lakh friends now please try to pass entry for the third transaction on your own hope you guys were able to pass it now let me explain he also purchased two computers worth rupees 50000 on that day now let us identify the two account heads involved he is purchasing two computers so computer that is an fixed asset is increasing and he is paying cash so cash another asset is decreasing this transaction is more or less similar to the second transaction only so if you fit this into the table whenever there is an increase in an asset it needs to be debited and whenever there is a decrease in an asset it needs to be credited so computer should be debited and cash needs to be credited so the resulting journal entry is on 1st april 2020 computer account debit to cash account 50000 and 50000 the fourth transaction he rendered consulting services to mr ram for rupees 5 lakh on 5th may 2020 on credit let us find the two account heads involved he is providing consulting service 
so there is an increase in income consulting income and he is providing this service on credit so on the same day he is not going to re receive cash whereas mr ram and debtor is created on that date so mr ram account which is a debtor account is also increasing so there is an increase in income as well as an increase in asset that is debtor so whenever an income increases it needs to be credited and whenever there is an increase in a debtor that is an asset it needs to be debited so the entry would be on 5th may 2020 ram account debit to consulting income rupees 5 lakh and rupees 5 lakh the fifth transaction he paid salary to his staffs on 6th may 2020 amounting to rupees 1 lakh here the two account heads involved are salary that is an expense account it is getting increased and he will be paying through cash so cash will be getting reduced so whenever there is an increase in an expense it needs to be debited and whenever there is a decrease in an asset it needs to be credited the resulting entry would be on 6th may 2020 salary account debit to cash account the amount is 1 lakh let us look into the sixth transaction he paid rent to landlord amounting to rupees 30000 on that day this transaction is more or less similar to the fifth transaction so you can give a try hope you guys tried now let me explain he paid rent so rent and expense is increasing and he is paying through cash so it reduces rent and expense being increasing it needs to be debited and cash and asset since it decreases it needs to be credited so the entry would be on 6th may 2020 rent account debit to cash account 30000 30000 now the seventh transaction he received payment from mr ram for rupees 250000 on 10th may 2020 we saw in this fourth transaction he is providing consulting services to ram on credit for rupees 5 lakh and out of which 250000 he is receiving on 10th may 2020 so mr ram a debtor account gets reduced and cash balance gets increased so when an asset account reduces it needs to be credited and when an another asset account which is increasing it needs to be debited so the entry would be on 10th may 2020 cash account debit to ram account the amount is 250000 and 250000 now let us look into the eighth transaction he incurred traveling expenses amounting to rupees 1200 on 11th may 2020 so traveling expense increases and he pays through cash so cash and asset reduces whenever an expense increases it needs to be debited and whenever cash that is an asset reduces it needs to be credited the entry would be on 11th may 2020 traveling expense account debit to cash account the amount was 1200 and 1200 let us look into the ninth transaction now he provided consulting services for rupees 25000 to mr prem on 12th may 
and received cash on the same day. Here, he is providing consulting services for cash. Therefore, consulting income increases and cash also increases. Whenever an income increases, it needs to be credited. Whenever an asset that is cash increases, it needs to be debited. Therefore, the resulting entry would be on 12th May 2020 cash account debit to consulting income account. The amount is 25,000. 25,000. Now let us look into the 10th transaction, the last and final transaction. You should be in a position to answer this transaction with ease because we have learned in detail about journalizing a transaction. He incurred office maintenance expenses amounting to rupees 5,000 on 13th May 2020. The two account heads involved are office maintenance expense which is increasing and he pays cash so it reduces whenever an expense increases it needs to be debited and whenever an asset decreases it needs to be credited therefore the resulting entry would be on 13th may 2020 office maintenance expense to cash account the amount is 5000 and 5000 therefore we have successfully learned to pass journal entry for these 10 transaction you can be sure that you will be able to pass entry to any transaction if you are strong with this concept hope you like this video don't forget to give your feedback in the comment sections below please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications thank you